One formatting tool you might find really helpful when building your website is the spacer and also the divider button. So you might notice here that when I've started to build this site, my button is sitting really closely to the text below it and I'd like there to be a bit of a gap. This is purely because it just looks a bit strange and I want it to be clearer for students. So I'm still in the build function over here and I want to scroll down to the structure button here. So what I'm looking for is the spacer because I want there to be a gap between these two. So click that spacer, drag it over and wait for it to load and you'll notice now that there's a bit of a gap. You can customize this gap by hovering over the spacer until you see that arrow down the bottom and you can then make that as small or as large as you like. You might like to rather than divide or rather than space the sections, you might like to completely separate them. So a way to do that is, let me just delete this one, a way to do that is to add a divider. So this is helpful if you want to put maybe um, a list of due dates at the top of the page and then get started on the content. Really helpful just to see it as um, two separate parts. And you use that using the divider button. So pull that over and drag and drop that here. Wait for it to load and you'll now see that there is a really thin line here. If you would like there to be more space on either side, you can increase or decrease those margins using these tools here, which can be really, really helpful as well.